Did you know that family property not only can assist you with property and financial matters, but parenting arrangements as well? To use the children and parenting functionality, make sure that you've selected parenting or parenting and property when you're setting up the matter. You can see on the left-hand menu that we have the children and parenting section. Once in the parenting section, any children that have been added to the matter through the questionnaire or the dashboard will automatically appear here. You can use family property to work individually in your client's parenting calendar, or you could use family property in a mediation session to model agreements and populate your parenting plan in the neutral parent parenting calendar. Did you know that you can capture arrangements for each child depending on their age and best interests, or you can make the same arrangements for all children by selecting the icons here to create a scheduling calendar for your client and populate into a parenting plan and parenting orders. Let me show you how. To populate the scheduling calendar, click on the arrangements icon here, which opens up a smart form. If children are of school age, you have the option to use a school term calendar and also select where the child or children reside. To populate the term time arrangement, select General Schedule. Here you can click on the drop down to select the time arrangements you wish to model. For example, I'm going to model a time arrangement that the children spend alternate weekends and Wednesday dinners with Benice. from Friday at 3.30 p.m. to Sunday, 12 p.m. I'm also going to add in Wednesday dinners Four PM to seven PM. Here you can add in any custom arrangements that do not fit the above agreement and arrangement types. These will be included in parenting orders and plans, but not displayed in the parenting calendar. You could use this section to add in agreements around makeup time what happens on public holidays and other arrangements that require more flexibility, such as fly in, fly out, work rosters. Here you can define the time arrangements for school holiday periods. Again, you can select from the drop down the appropriate option for this arrangement. Further under this heading, you can customize any additional time arrangements, special days, and custom arrangements. You can remove any special periods not required. Remember the more information you include here, the more detailed your parenting plans and parenting orders will be when they're generated from within family property. You have the option here to include any additional provisions. These template provisions can be included in parenting plans and orders, for education, communication, health, travel. As this is a Word document, these provisions are fully editable in the Word document. You can also add in your own custom provisions such as extracurricular activities here. Select Save. Now that we've populated the smart form, the arrangement details are modelled on the scheduling calendar in separate colours to represent the children's time with each parent. You can display a fortnightly or a monthly schedule. And here you can download the calendar in PDF for your client. Now to download a parenting plan, on the left-hand menu, click on the parenting plan document.
you can see here that the arrangements made are detailed here. Being a Word document, it's fully editable if you wish to remove any provisions. If you would like to create parenting orders, click on the parenting orders document here. Again, once downloaded, you can make any changes directly into the document to include your preferred wording. I hope this recording was useful as an introduction to the parenting and children section of family property. Thank you.